Hey guys, what is up? It is No Help, and welcome to my ultimate Iron Man cooking guide for 2022. I'm going to show you absolutely everything in this guide on how to get yourself from 1 to 99 cooking on an Iron Man account. Now, what is cooking? Now, cooking is a skill where you cook raw food food and turn it into uh, edible food that you can go ahead and use in combat. It's very important for Iron Man to go ahead and train cooking for, you know, Slayer, PVM, whatever they might need in the future. Cooking normally is one of the fastest skills in the game, but being an Iron Man, you have to go ahead and collect all of the resources yourself. So I'm going to be showing you mostly on how to do that in this video. And as well as cooking is really good to train on an Iron Man because you can go ahead and train your fishing skill as well. Before you go ahead and start training cooking, here are some of the useful quests that will give you cooking experience that you can try and knock right out of the way. Things like the cook's assistant, the recipe for disaster quests are very important. Gertrude's cat's a really nice one to get right off the bat as well, and then you get a cat as well. Um, and then just all of these will, you know, combine total of 44,000 experience. Not the most, but you can take advantage of some, uh, most of them anyways. Quest that I highly recommend you go ahead and do for cooking is the Family Crest Quest. This is for the cooking gauntlets. Um, these are gloves that will go ahead and help you burn food less. On screen right now, I'm going to go ahead and show you that it does not work for all the types of food in the game. It works for anglerfish, shark, monkfish, swordfish, and lobster, but it can still be extremely useful so you burn less food. Completing the quest throne of miscellanea and then also the royal trouble quest after that you can go ahead and collect from the kingdom of miscellanea pretty much what this is you go ahead and deposit money into it and then wait a long time you can wait you know seven days a month whatever it might be and over time the workers will go ahead and collect whatever you set it to now you can go ahead and put it on raw food and this is a good way to get passive food in order to get 99 cooking i did this for a little while it was probably a couple million cooking experience i got from the kingdom of miscellanea one other quest I highly recommend you go ahead and do is the TI-1I Trio quest. This will allow you to fish raw carambwans, which uh, you will need 65 fishing for, but this is a very, very good way to bank yourself a ton of cooking experience. Now, another thing I recommend you take here is the fish barrel. It's a reward from Temperis. It may take you a little while to get, but it will make this spot extremely AFK. Now, what? why um, the fish barrel is so good is all the raw fish will go into the fish barrel, allowing you to do pretty much two inventories every single time that you come out here, and then you bank it and you'll have 50 so if i go ahead and like look in here right now for example i can see that it has eight raw raw carbon bonds in here and i keep fishing and then bank them this way this is a great method and pretty much how i banked most of my cooking experience one extra tip before we go ahead and start cooking, if you want to get a little boost in your fishing, you can go ahead and complete the sea slug quest and this will get you all the way from like level 1 till 24 fishing. Okay, now I'm going to show you the three best places to go ahead and cook in game. Now, the first one is in Hosidius right here. Um, pretty much how you go ahead and get here is take the boat all the way from uh, to Port Serum to Land's End, and then you just run up here. Now, keep in mind to use this, you're going to need 100% Hosidius favor. Um, so you can go ahead and get that. But the cool thing about this uh, place to cook is once you have the 100% Hosidius favor, um, you have access to these clay ovens now what these clay ovens actually do is they will um, have a five percent chance of burn reduction so you won't be burning as much food here and that can actually save you a ton of your raw supplies being an iron man account now depending on what you cook right you could also stack this with the cooking gloves to make it even better this is where i did most of my cooking until i got access to a better place now the next best spot to train cooking would have to definitely be in the rogues den now how you go ahead and get here is go ahead and use a games necklace to birth orb, and once you teleport there you just have to walk into the bar which is right when you spawn in here you just want to walk into this bar and go into the basement with the trap door now a lot of people will remember this to be the most nostalgic place to train cooking back in the day um, and it's still a very good method but it is a fire so there is better out there but the great thing about this is there is a bank right here and then this banker actually never moves so you can just go ahead and grab an inventory of food 
use your on the fire and simply cook now this is a great spot but it is a fire right so keep this in mind depending on what you want to go ahead and cook here but this is another great option now the absolute best place to train cooking is in the myths guild now this is actually locked behind completion of dragon slayer 2 so it has pretty hefty requirements but if you're going for 99 you might as well go ahead and finish your 99 up here in the myths guild so you go up to the second floor here and there is just a bank right beside an oven so it's just slightly better um than before but depending on what you were cooking it doesn't really matter so say you're cooking like you know lobsters or swordfish it doesn't really matter if you're in the other spot if you're in the high 90s of cooking so this is just a really cool spot just because it's an oven and the bank is right here i find it a little bit easier than clicking on the person and clicking the fire just because it's a one click you know it's way easier to go ahead and do and you also get some pretty nice views as well <laughs> So cooking on an Iron Man is more about collecting the food as I said. Now the best ways that I went ahead and collected food was fishing obviously, mostly Karambwans, and then Temperus. Temperus is a fishing skilling boss and you can go ahead and kill this and they drop a ton of nice rewards like a bunch of uncooked food you can go ahead and do. The Kingdom of Miscellanea is also a great option to get some raw food passively but another option is by using grapes. Now over time on an Iron Man from doing bossing and whatever you might get a ton of grapes. Zalra is a thing that drops a ton of grapes that you can go ahead and use. You'll just need jugs of water and you can actually start this at just 30 cooking so it's pretty awesome. All you're going to need to do is get jugs of water. You can do this by going and buying jug packs and then using the lunar spell humidify in order to go ahead and fill them. It's pretty easy. I have a video on my channel on how to go ahead and do it and then all you just need to do is get your grapes out and your jugs of water and it's some of the fastest cooking experience in the entire game it's a really cool method that you can go ahead and do and you can stack up your cooking experience like crazy as you can see at the very top here there's a counter and every single time i put a grape in it it resets right so if you can bank in quicker than 13 seconds you can get a huge cooking stack so once i go ahead and put these unfermented things in the bank right here if i go ahead and wait these seven seconds you will see a cooking drop and it will be massive if you you know do like a thousand at a time or whatever so now it should drop and i just got 2800 cooking experience right and uh yeah wines are one of the best ways so if you have a ton of grapes this can be a great option now for the actual leveling proportion of the guide i highly recommend you do quests to get yourself from level one to 20 cooking and fishing but if you don't want to go ahead and do quests you can go ahead and fish shrimp and anchovies here in draenor or there's also a spot in alcrid that you can go ahead and do all you have to go ahead and do is go ahead and fish the shrimp and anchovies and then just bank them here at the uh the drain or bank and then go ahead and find yourself a cooking range to go ahead and cook them on this will be a long process um especially if you're level one that's why i highly recommend you just do some quests in order to get this out of the way but uh yeah get yourself 20 kick cooking and 20 fishing next head over to edgeville and this is where you can fish yourself um raw trout and salmon now the great part about this place is there is a fire here that never will burn out so being an iron man account you can actually just stay here go ahead and fish yourself like a full inventory i guess you're just going to be getting trout at the start if you're level 20 but eventually you'll get trout and salmon and then you can just use them on the fire and just drop the food or if you want to go ahead and bank them you can just run back to edgeville and bank the cooked versions of them as you can see tons of people are dropping the cooked variants of them right here this is a great spot that you can go ahead and stay for for a while depending on what you want to go ahead and do i actually stayed here until i got 65 fishing i'm pretty sure i was close to 70 cooking at that point as well but you honestly just need to stay here until whatever level you kind of want to go ahead and get but uh this is a great spot because the fire just never runs out and then you can just drop and repeat feathers are super cheap as well but this is such a great method of getting cooking experience consistently on an iron man once you get 65 fishing, you can go ahead and catch carambwans, which that will make your cooking speed up quite a bit. And if you stay at the tramp, uh, the salmon and trout until you get the 65, you should easily have 65 to 70 cooking as well. You will burn quite a bit of these, but they're so easy to go ahead and catch. And especially if you've got the fish barrel, you can go ahead and just AFK them. Make sure you catch like a ton of them, right? I caught, I think it was 30,000 of these at one point. 
and go ahead and get to whatever cooking level you want you can even do this all the way till 99 and that's actually what i honestly recommend you go ahead and do because you can also use the carbon bonds after for really good food for pvming for bossing whatever it might be even just slayer right um carbon bonds are probably my favorite food in the entire game right and it's such easy experience after that if you want to go ahead and use the other methods like killing temperance to get the raw fish collecting from the kingdom of miscellanea to go ahead and get your extra cooking experience farming zalra to go ahead and get grapes or just fishing whatever you want if you want to go ahead and fish sharks and cook those up you know go ahead whatever you want to do but this is personally the best way i found to get 99 cooking on an iron man account make sure you use all of the methods as well right you don't have to just do carbon bonds all the way to 99 go ahead and mix it up you know Fish 20,000 Karambwans, cook those up, and then at the same time have the Kingdom of Miscellanea be collecting the raw um, tuna and swordfish for you as well. And also you can use all the grapes and stuff like that, right? Cooking is a little slow on Iron Man at first, but once you actually play the game for a while and get a lot of the resources banked, it becomes fairly easy to go ahead and do. Thank you guys so much for watching the video today. If you went ahead and watched the whole video, comment 99 cooking. Thank you guys so much, and I will catch you in the next one. See ya later.